Using Geico might be so easy, a caveman could do it. But who actually were those cavemen? Here are the men behind those iconic Neanderthals. First introduced in 2004, the Geico Caveman is a figure created as part of an advertising campaign for the insurance company of the same name. Executives wanted to show how simple it was to use the Geico website, and the commercials pointed out that it was so straightforward, even a caveman could do it. It's so easy to use Geico.com, a caveman could do it. <laughs> what? Oh, no, I, not cool. I did the commercials, which featured seemingly primitive cavemen living in modern-day settings, quickly became popular and garnered a number of fans. Much of this came down to the humor in the adverts. A caveman could do it. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Do you hear that? That is really condescending. Several people have portrayed the Geico caveman over the years, but the person most often associated with the character is John Lear. The actor landed the role as the very first caveman in a Geico commercial in 2004. Geico didn't officially confirm the actors playing the famous cavemen when the ads were originally aired, but Lear's involvement was known by 2007, when the New York Post revealed the various actors behind the masks. Before landing the role of the Geico caveman, Lear had worked in show business for many years. He had several spots on high-profile commercials after a Fox executive discovered him performing improv with his comedy partner. The actor has also revealed that he suffered from alcohol and drug addiction early in his career, but managed to get sober before being cast as the Geico Caveman. After being spotted in Chicago, John Lear signed on with Fox and moved to Los Angeles to pursue an entertainment career. One of his most notable roles was in a single episode of Friends, in which he played Chandler's potential roommate. So there may be models here from time to time. I hope that's cool. Yes, it is cool. <laughs> Lear was also a cast member in three Noah Baumbach's films, including Kicking and Screaming and Highball. Lear has worked as a producer and writer as well. He acted as executive producer on both Quick Draw and Jailbait. He penned multiple episodes of the latter as a creator and writer. He was also responsible for co-creating and writing the sitcom 10 Items or Less, on which he played a businessman who takes over his family's supermarket after his father's death. In recent years, Lear has embarked on various comedy and improv tours around Los Angeles, New York, and Chicago. Outside of the Geico commercial, viewers will probably know him best for his role in Jesse alongside Christina Applegate, which ran from 1998 until 2000. Another actor who has portrayed the Geico caveman in several commercials is Jeff Daniel Phillips. His participation in the campaign was confirmed in 2007, and he has since gone on to play the character numerous times. Interestingly, Phillips landed the role after some of the team behind the campaign saw him in a play portraying a similarly angry character. I don't have much of an appetite, thank you. Playing the Geico caveman was an experience that Phillips will never forget. Speaking to the Journal Star, he revealed, I am proud of the work, but it blows me away and surprises me how many people love the character. In the same interview, Phillips revealed that, when he worked with Dwayne Johnson on the movie Faster, The Rock quickly became enamored with him after learning Phillips had played the Geico caveman. Outside of his part in the Geico commercials, Jeff Daniel Phillips has appeared in numerous television series and movies, ranging from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to Westworld. Phillips has also been a frequent collaborator with Rob Zombie. Most recently, he starred in the 2022 film The Munsters, in which he played Herman Munster a part that required extensive makeup and prosthetics to bring to life. Speaking to Film Stories, Phillips said that his time in the Geico commercials provided him with experience on how to cope with acting under prosthetics. He said, I know that the more you keep up the movement, the less people are concentrated on where the seam is or getting the makeup. The more you come to life, people get lost in it and it becomes more the character, in my experience anyway. In an interview with the Journal Star, Phillips also spoke about his experience of keeping his role as the Geico caveman a secret and insisted he didn't want it to define him as an actor. He said, I kept a lid on it for a long time that I was the caveman. Only recently have I been letting people know it's me because you always worry about being pigeonholed. The Geico caveman is a role that Jeff Daniels Phillips has always remembered fondly. After all, it helped him get his big break as an actor and allowed him to perform in front of a huge audience. He told the Journal Star that it was a highlight of his career. In fact, saying, You know, I've worked in a theater with 20 people in the audience. One commercial is seen by millions. Definitely working on TV is a high. Considering all that, 
The fact that Phillips was willing to reprise the role all these years later probably doesn't come as much of a shock. Yet, few people expected to see the character return to television screens. Released at the end of 2023, The Caveman Returns is a two-minute commercial that sees Phillips play an older version of the character who has become disillusioned with his Geico legacy. You can't say bundling your home and car is so easy. I, I don't Geico. even like when people say that anyway. Ben Weber is another actor who portrayed early incarnations of the Geico caveman, often alongside Jeff Daniel Phillips. Although he didn't get his start as an actor in commercials, much of his early work involved advertising various products and services. Weber has since gone on to appear in a wide array of projects on both television and movie scenes. He had a recurring role as Skipper Johnston in the first two seasons of Sex and the City, and also appeared more recently in Manhunt, Unabomber. He also featured in films such as Coach Carter and Kissing Jessica Stein. When he first auditioned for the part, Weber didn't think he was particularly well-suited for it, as many of the other actors were large, well-built men who seemed to better fit the bill of a Neanderthal. However, he changed his mind once he spoke to the director and understood that the commercials would involve multiple types of cavemen. He later told backstage, It wasn't until I met the director that I saw that this was a pretty nuanced take on what they were going to do with the cavemen. It was going to be sort of layered. One of the layers was not all the cavemen were these hulking brutes, but some of them were sensitive guys whose feelings get hurt. Tina's here, we're getting back together. Hey, give us a minute. While he's not quite as well known as the other actors who portrayed the Geico cavemen over the last two decades, Ben Wilson did have a short stint playing one of the Neanderthal characters. He appears in a commercial where two cavemen watch a television advert that makes that infamous claim. Wilson's experience on the commercials did land him some extra acting work, though. According to an interview with Norfolk Daily News, he was given a single line in the ABC sitcom Cavemen because he had worked with the producers on the marketing campaign. Wilson found working on the show a fun and relaxing experience, especially as he didn't have to do much to get the part. Although, sadly, he appears to have been cut from the final episode. He explained, They just called and asked if I still had my caveman teeth. I didn't even have to audition. I have one line. My character says that there is no personal business during HR meetings. Outside of Jeff Daniels Phillips and John Lear, the man who played the Geico caveman the longest is Mick Manus Woodend. The actor and producer who co-wrote the film Rocksteppy has appeared in over a dozen projects, including The Irishman, and John Wick Chapter 2, although often in minor or uncredited roles. He appeared in more than 25 national commercials featuring the Geico Caveman and also made public appearances as the character. His first shoot in the costume came in 2009, when he traveled to Alaska to film a collaboration between Geico and the Discovery Channel. On a shoot that was plagued by cold weather, severe blizzards, and even an avalanche. You guys need anything? No? Woodend was so unrecognizable in his caveman costume and makeup that even his close friends did not believe that he'd played the figure until he was able to offer proof in the form of his facial prosthetics. He last portrayed the caveman in a commercial that aired during the 2018 Winter Olympics. Today, he teaches English at the University of Southern Indiana. Achieving the hairy Neanderthal look requires extensive makeup and special effects, and you might not realize just how much work went into creating this advertising icon. When all the effects come together, the actors playing the caveman are almost completely unrecognizable. Some of those who have portrayed the Geico caveman over the years have spoken about the process. In an interview with Yahoo, John Lear explained that putting on the makeup took a lot of time and it was pretty uncomfortable to wear. He explained, The makeup took three hours to get on and one hour to take off. After about six hours of having it on, it started to freak me out. But overall, the experience was a blast. Meanwhile, a video featuring actor Jeff Daniel Phillips demonstrates just how laborious the experience can be. The time-lapse footage reduces a three-hour process down to just a few minutes, but it gives you an idea of the prosthetics and makeup required to turn an actor into an authentic-looking caveman. Clearly, playing the Geico caveman is kind of a big deal for an actor, but just how much do they get paid for it? And is it actually a fun job? Years after John Lear played the Geico caveman, he told Chicago Now, it was really fascinating and fun and paid my bills. The Geico caveman role didn't exactly make him rich, and it certainly wasn't his highest paid acting gig. He had taken a salary of $16,000 a week for his role in the sitcom Jesse, a sum that allowed him to pay off his student loans and live comfortably. However, 
the commercials did provide him with some security. Similarly, Jeff Daniel Phillips confirmed that he was able to use the money to pay off his house. Phillips also remarked that he had a great time filming the commercials and felt that playing the character fit perfectly with this type of comedy. He told Interviewing Hollywood, It's the perfect job for somebody like me, a character actor, because I make a lot of money on these commercials and nobody knows it's me. It kind of fit with my sense of humor, in that you play it for real, but it's totally absurd, which is basically my cup of tea. There's little denying that the Geico Caveman commercials were widely successful and hugely popular. Soon after they began airing on television, an entire community of fans formed to celebrate and discuss the character. The people behind the advertising campaign were aware of just how popular they were with the public too. And so Geico and their marketing firm, The Martin Agency, quickly took advantage. Their new strategy involved creating accompanying websites and having the caveman appear at events. They even sent John Lear to the Oscars in full caveman makeup. For his part, Lear was shocked at just how passionate the fan base became at its peak. In an interview with Interviewing Hollywood, the actor said, I'm stunned. I mean, it's huge. My wife just recently googled Geico caveman blogs, and it's unbelievable. There's a whole bunch of people out there who are fascinated with these commercials.